Auto Line at CES is brought to you by Borg Warner, ETOS, and by Gentex. So, Rito, tell me, what, what is AutoVoltaic? We're a company, we've developed a, a, a robotic charger that um, uh, allows you to basically park your car in the garage and forget about plugging it in, and the robot drives up to your car, opens the door, plugs itself in, charges it, unplugs, and goes back to the, to the side. So, you know, it's a, some people just can't be bothered to plug in, right? That, that, so, you, you figured out how to automate this. That's Tell right. me about your robot here. Okay, it's a, uh, um, a unit that's, uh, the charging cable that you normally plug into the, into the vehicle, you now plug into the base of the robot. And the, the robot has navigation. Uh, it na autonomously navigates to the vehicle. Um, it's simple and lightweight. Um, the cleverness here is that we can use a, 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 the way we're plugging in, we're actually grabbing a hold of the vehicle and pulling the, push pulling the connector into the vehicle. And that allows us to, uh, to have a fairly lightweight robot to do this. And so it, it looks like it's set up for uh, an axe connector. Yes. Is that right? That's so correct. The, That's correct. This will do anybody who's got a, an axe connector. That's exactly that right? right. That's exactly right. And we have a version for uh, the Menicus Type 2 as well, mm -hmm. which is uh, used in the rest of the world, most of the rest of the world. Uh huh. So, uh, are you guys uh, still developing this, or you're you're doing what? We're in the tail end of development. We have uh, the the hardware now all finalized. The the mechanical hardware. Uh -huh. uh, we're working a lot on the programming now, and uh, we're very close to to production really now. So. so so tell me, how does it figure out how to position itself? It, it does it uh, with a, using a camera in in the nozzle. The nozzle has a camera feed in it and we have uh, uh, several sensors around the robot that prevent it from bumping into things. Uh, it makes sure that when the arm comes up that it has clearance to do so. And uh, what do you think this would retail for? Uh, it's around $1,800 is, uh, is around the, uh, the retail price and over time that'll come down a little bit. Uh, that's, that's actually uh, not bad at all. Right. Very interesting. What gave you guys uh, the idea to go after this? Uh, because we feel that there's a market, people are looking for conveniences, and okay. this is one of those one of those conveniences. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, no, no doubt about it. Okay, so I'm dying to get this robot in my garage. It's only eighteen hundred bucks. The price will come down. Yeah. Well, when do you think I could get one of these things? Uh, in in a few months. Within within six months, we'll we'll be in production. Yeah. Wow, very interesting. Yeah. And. Uh, you're, you're based in uh, Aliso Viejo, yeah. uh, California. Orange huh? County. Orange, yeah. yeah, so how are you going to retail them? Online or what? Uh, a little bit of, of everything. We're, uh, we're, we're testing the market right now, and initially, yes, we'll be directly direct marketing it to the, to the consumer. Cool. What am I missing? What else should I know about it? I think that's, that basically touches most of the important facts here. Yeah. Well, good. Ritzel, thanks for your time. Pleasure. Thank you.